Hello. So this video is about a spreadsheet called Sunlight. Uh, and we're looking at the reference screen, which corresponds here at the top to table 14.2, table 14.2 in MEEP. And it's recommending uh, daylight factor levels. Daylight factor is the ratio of natural light received on a task to that available on a horizontal surface outside. So the lower range is for warm climates where we're more concerned about solar heat gain. The upper range of these recommended daylight factors is for cooler climates and it corresponds to the kind of work you're doing. Remember that overlit is overheated so we don't want to be uh, wasteful in that way. And the corresponding relative amount of illumination and foot candles that you would like to associate with that kind of daylighting factor. So we can from table 14.4 in MEEB we can look at our different daylighting strategies and predict the average daylight factor in the room and the minimum daylight factor in some cases uh, at the furthest extent or two and a half times the height of the uh, window head in as depth into the space. At any rate, we can get a design target for our daylighting factor by plugging into these ratios. Window area divided by floor area times a, uh, a constant to give us an estimation of side lighting daylight factors, vertical monitor daylight factors, north facing sawtooth, and horizontal skylight daylight factors in a space. And again, this relates directly to table 14.4 in me. And then again, if we know our uh, visible light transmittance of our glazing and its solar shading coefficient, which is the total amount of energy comes through as opposed to just the visible light, then the ratio of those two things, sometimes called the cool factor, is here just an efficiency ratio. The inputs are actually very similar to the sun angle calculator templates because the amount of light available from natural light is uh, dependent upon solar position somewhat. Not so much under an overcast sky, but uh, certainly under clear and partly cloudy skies. So this does uh, a lot of the things. I, I think the calculation engine is even built on the spreadsheet that did sun angle calculators, but there's this additional component here and there's a couple other inputs. What daylight factor are we expecting? And 1% is, is a decent daylight factor. Uh, and what glazing visible light transmission are we using? So these are two inputs you wouldn't have had in a sun angle calculator spreadsheet, but you have them here. And then from there, the spreadsheet additionally forecasts uh, foot candles at each time of the day on a horizontal surface under an overcast sky and because we know that we're going to get in this case a 1% daylight factor and a 41.6% transmission we can use those numbers to give a first order estimate of how many foot candles we would get at the task surface. Correspondingly it does the same calculation for a clear sky so this is an overcast sky this is a clear sky right? uh, another kind of approximation so you know these numbers would be a little different. They're estimated just slightly different ways. And some other ideas about what kind of light might be available under different skies. So this will help you set up and think about and even target your design and your window selection and your window to floor area ratios.